first ever marijuana commercial set to air in New Jersey on major networks including A&E, Fox, CNN, Comedy Central and the Food Network, also the History Channel. And uh, some people are a little concerned about it. Let's first show you what the commercial is and then we'll discuss. Yo, you want sushi? I got sushi. I got the best sushi. This area is dry, man. You know that. I know that. Ain't nobody selling but me. I got tuna. I got salmon. I got sweet shrimp. I got the finest sashimi this area has seen in years. You need me and I need you. Let's make this work. You buy some sashimi, I'll throw in some rice paper, man. Totally free. Gratis. I got everything. Even California rolls, baby. You wouldn't buy your sushi from this guy. So why would you buy your marijuana from him? MarijuanaDoctors.com is the only service that connects patients with real doctors for medical marijuana recommendations. Simple, confidential, safe. Visit MarijuanaDoctors.com. I like that ad. Yeah, that was a really good ad. I, I wouldn't Can buy my sushi that from that guy. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I'm buying sushi from that guy. But that's <laughs> actually one of the uh, principal problems with drugs is that you never know what's inside. Exactly. Right? So if they make it a little bit more legitimate, as they have done in Colorado, well, then it'll be a little safer. So... Great. But what's interesting is this is going to air in New Jersey, and New Jersey has legalized marijuana for medicinal use, not recreational use. And of course, the ad is uh, specifying medical marijuana, so that makes sense. Uh, but I find it really interesting that it's not the first marijuana ad isn't going to air in Colorado or Washington. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of my home state of New Jersey. Hey, they don't call it the Garden State for, no th for nothing. <laughs> you know, I don't know. This looks creepy to me. The really? end of it. It was supposed to look creepy. No, the oh. drug deal was supposed to be creepy, right? Selling this weird sushi. The fact that it jumps in with this voice of, I don't know, maybe it's because we've been now conditioned, but this is what I was always thinking. Why would you buy your weed from this guy? Buy your weed from us. They're pushers too. They're just, it's just and we know this. We just like the beer ads and all that stuff. They're pushing things on you of too. Of course they are. And just because you want to, fine. I'm fine with people doing what they want to do and smoking and drinking, whatever they want to do. But... It's just now, now all of a sudden it's legitimized. Let me be your pusher. Come to medicaldoctors.com. Visit us down on the corner. It'll be great. But this I mean, think about the number of like, first of all, ads we see for prescription medicine. And the number of ads, I think it's creepy, and the number of ads that we see for alcohol. You know, people are partying, they're having a good time. Spetka. Like it said, have you seen the Spetka commercials with like the robot? Oh, okay. we anyway. are partying with the robot. It is a lot of fun. Okay, so JR, I, I'm with you. Two things I, uh, else that I got from that. One was, uh oh, here come the corporations, right? So when the companies get a hold of pot, oh well, okay, that that's going to be a marketing machine that is tough to resist. Yeah. And then we're going to have to do educational campaigns to say, hey, listen. Don't oversmoke the pot. Okay, but that's bring it what down. We wanted, though. Right, like we had to do with tobacco and stuff. Right, mm -hmm. um, but then the third thing I thought is, here come the corporations. So it's over. Okay, once the medicaldoctors.coms of the world start making money. Mm -hmm. Okay, O V A H. You know how quickly those legislators get bought. All of a sudden, everything's a wonderful idea to uh, legalize pot. 